you guessed, Sabre, you're right. Check out the five ways I've been using it at the NFL to create amazing sports graphics. The first step is to rotoscope your player and you can use Roto Rush, you can use Runway, and I've done tutorials on both in case you're interested in learning how to rotoscope. And this layer by Solo and click on that transparency grid is my Roto layer. Once you have it Roto, just make sure that your work area, this bar up here is the work area, is set to the duration of your Roto layer, which it is. Select your Roto layer, go to layer, auto trace, and select work area for the channel, alpha. You can leave these numbers right here and make sure that you apply to the new layer. Hit OK. And After Effects will generate the solid layer and it creates mask for every single frame and it's a silhouette of your roto layer. You can see that it created two masks and this one is this little spot which we can just go ahead, we can delete it. And let's unsolo it. Using this silhouette, we're gonna go to Effect, go to Video Copilot, Saber, and go to Customize Core, select Layer Mask, down to the render settings, composite, transparent. And for the Justin Herbert, I use the electric preset and I didn't really adjust anything else. I mean, it was good. I liked how it looked and that's all I did. You can also perhaps change the blending mode, gives it a different look. And you can also place it underneath your rotor layer for another look. And amigos, feel free to use another preset. For example, we can use core, which looks pretty cool. And you can change the color. And this looks pretty cool too. If you want to crush the fundamentals of After Effects, check out my online course. For this example, select your footage, control D to make a copy, command D of your Mac. And let's rename it to ball. And you can use a pen tool or you can use a lips tool to create a mask and hold on to shift to make a perfect circle and control T or command T for the transform tool, the mask transform tool. This is perfect. Drill down to the mask. Let's change the color to green so we can see it. Drill down to the path, click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and just go to window and make sure that the tracker is selected because we'll use a tracker. And for the method, amigos, just experiment and see which one works. I usually start with this one, the third one. And what I like to do is go frame by frame, control T to bring the transform tool. And I like to adjust every frame. Usually when I'm doing this, it's only one, probably one and a half seconds, two seconds max. So I don't mind going frame by frame. The problem is if, let me just change this one. I go ahead and tell it to go automatically, this is what happens a lot of times. It doesn't pick it up very well. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and just go frame by frame. And it takes a little longer, but it's worth it because you get a better result. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial, I'm going to fast forward this section. You can check out the roto. And it's a decent roto. Now, what we'll do is we're ready to add Saber. Make sure that the ball layer is selected. Go to Effect, and you can see the Saber is here because we've used it before. If not, go to Video Copilot, Saber, and go to Customize Core, Layer Mask, drill down to Render Settings, Composite Settings, and Transparent. So it's on Transparent, and automatically we can see that it's working well. And let's change the preset. Go to the preset and you can use any of these presets, but for this one, we'll use heat. Let's check it out. Let's zoom out and let's check this out. And remember amigos, you can always change the blending mode. Let's change it to screen. It'll blend it a little better. The best way is to find a vector file online, download it, open an illustrator and select all the path that pertain to your logo. Select them, edit, copy and switch to After Effects and let's create a new solid layer and hit Control V or Command V and it'll paste as a mask. Hit Control T or Command T to bring up the mask transform and adjust the size 
Let's make it this big. Now here's the key. You need to make as many copies as the number of colors that your logo has. If your logo has, for example, five colors, then you'll make five copies and each copy will contain all the masks that pertain to that specific color. In my case, there's only two colors, so I need to make just one more copy. Control D or Command D. This one, let's call it left. And this one, let's call it right. Label your layers. And once you do, hit M for mask. And what we need to do is just delete the mask that we don't want. So for the right side, we want to delete the left. So let's delete this one. And let's do the opposite for the other one, for the left. We want to keep this one, so let's delete the right one. We're ready to go and select the layer, effect, video copilot, saber. And for logos, I like to start with a simple orange preset. And let's go to render settings. Remember, this is important. Transparent, so it's on transparent background. And customize core, select layer mask. Perfect. Let's make a copy. Let's go to the right side, control C, control V to paste. And this one, let's change it to green. Let's change the green. And there you go. Now, what I like to do is animate the start offset and we can keyframe this. Now, notice that it's starting out at this point. If you want to change where it starts, which of the points, all you need to do is select that point, right click, mask and shape path, set first vertex. And now it'll start from this point. And you can see that it's starting out from that point. Select your footage, make a copy, control D, and let's call it net. Go up to effect, Boris FX Mocha. If you have Mocha Pro, you can go ahead and use Mocha Pro. If not, Mocha AE will still do the job for you. The first step is to create a holdout mat for the goalie so we can subtract the area of the goalie and it'll give us a better track for the net. It'll improve the chances of a better track. And to do that, go to the X-Spline tool and I'm going to loosely dry shape around the goalie and do a manual track. Once you're done, let's name this layer goalie. Let's turn off the tracking and let's change the color to blue. And let's go ahead, go back to the X spline tool and let's draw a shape around the net. Control A to select all the points so we can make them straight and you can adjust these points. Let's label this net. Now this is important amigos. You need to make sure that the goalie layer is above the net because if I select the net, I'll click on this button. You can see that it's subtracting the shape that we created for the goalie. Now let's go to motion. If you're changing in perspective, definitely check perspective. But in this case, it doesn't seem that we changed perspective. So we'll go ahead and leave these four options selected and let's track forward. Let's go back to this keyframe and let's track backwards. Let's stop. And you can see that we lost a track for the net, but it doesn't matter because the ball comes right here. We'll be using the data from this point forward. But if you need to make any changes, what you can do is you can always add a keyframe. And for example, right here, I can go ahead, change this point, automatically created a keyframe for me. But like I mentioned, we'll be using it from this point. So let's close Mocha, let's save, and let's go down to mat and let's view the mat. And you can see the net and the shape that we created for the goalie. Go to visible layers and let's hide the goalie layer so we only see the net and let's create AE mask and let's hide Mocha. This is important. Let's hide Mocha. And if we solo this layer, you can see that we have rotoscope the net, which is perfect. And the ball goes in right here. So let's trim this layer at this point and let's go ahead and add Saber video copilot Saber customize core layer mask. Let's go down to render settings transparent and feel free to select your favorite preset. For example, this one, I selected core and change the blending mode to add. And let's check this out. And lastly, you can also use text. Let's create a new solid layer and let's add Saber. 
And for the customized core, this time we'll select text layer. And here we select our text layer, which is Los Angeles. And remember to go down to the render settings, go down to composite, make it transparent. And for the preset, the good one to start out with is thin. And let's hide our text and be sure to adjust these properties. And what I like to do as well is the start offset and the end offset is to animate these two properties. And it gives it a pretty cool animation when you're animating the start and the end offset. 